Hey guys, how's it going? Paul here. Um, gonna do a quick video for you this afternoon. Um, if you hear something in the background, it is the 4th of July today while I'm uh, making this video. So, very well may hear some fireworks. They have, uh, they've been going off pretty much all morning. Uh, happy 4th, by the way. Um, don't forget what we're celebrating on Independence Day. Um, our independence, we are celebrating basically cannonballs and musket shot flying toward the faces of those who would deny us our liberty. So, hope you're having a good one. Hope y'all are uh, spending it with your families, having a good time. I certainly am. I got a little break for about an hour, hour and a half, and then we're going to head over to my parents and have some people over and grill some ribeyes and have a good time. So. What I was going to talk to you about just for a second, um, pulled in yesterday, um, had a little vacation, took, took last week off, um, try to time it where, you know, spend the vacation around a three day weekend. So I'll get a little more, a little more bang for my buck there. But, um, I did some visiting to the Northwest. Um, now I'm a, I'm a Arkansas small town boy. Um, hadn't been to the big cities very much. So we took a little vacation. And uh, our first stop was Washington, D.C., which I'd never been to and enjoyed very much. Um, then we went up to New Haven, Connecticut um, to visit some family there. And uh, let me tell you, I have found out, um, if you don't live your life right, what's going to happen to you in the afterlife. I found out what hell is. Um, hell is driving from Washington, D.C. to New Haven, Connecticut on 95 North. Um, I, I, I'm, I seriously, if you don't live right, you're just going to be damned for eternity to drive back and forth from there. It, it's freaking terrible. But anyway, we enjoyed ourselves once we got to New Haven, uh, spent it with some family. Took the train over from New Haven to New York City. Um, my wife and daughter enjoyed New York City. I don't know about me. I don't know if an Arkansas redneck needs to be in New York City. That, that place, whew, didn't didn't care for it. But anyway, we got up even further north, went up to Rhode Island and, and uh, checked out the, some things there, the beaches there, the mansions on the beaches that the Vanderbilts and and uh, the Carnegies and all them built back in the day. Beautiful, beautiful. I think that was my favorite part of the trip was D.C. and Rhode Island. But anyway, while we were there, um, obviously me, um, one of my main things was I had to hit all the pipe shops and the tobacco shops while we were up there and found some good ones. I want to tell you just a little bit about them if you ever travel that way. Uh, in DC, there is actually a really good shop. It is called Georgetown Tobacco. Um, great place. I uh, found out while I was there, District of Columbia does not have tobacco taxes. Not on pops and cigars anyway. Pop tobacco and cigars. Um, the cigarettes, if you're a cigarette smoker, you don't want to be there. They're dropping 10, 11 bucks a pack on those. But uh, pop tobacco, no taxes, so that was great. Um, I picked up this cob while I was there, uh, while I was there at Georgetown Tobacco. Um, pretty cool little cob. I wanted to get a little something to, you know, that would last a while so I could remember my trip there. Uh, I think I picked up a tin of Balkan Blue while I was there, too. But they're tins, very reasonable. Um, their tins were about 12 bucks. Um, in a B&M, that's really good. I know my local shop here with uh, with Arkansas 68% tax. A tin of tobacco here run you about a $20 bill. So I do most of my buying online, but 12 bucks a tin, it was pretty awesome. So uh, the next shop I went to, we, we went to New York and I went to Nat Sherman, um, great place. Um, I was kind of different because uh, when you go in their humidor, you can't just go in there and look around. I got a cigar to smoke while I was in there. And uh, you don't just walk in their humidor and shop around. You have to wait at the door to the, of the humidor for an employee, for an attendant to go in there with you. Um, I don't know if that's a loss prevention thing or if it's more of a customer service thing, but I found it different. But it was fine. Um, I smoked a, a cigar while I was there, and I also picked up a tin of this. Um, they have some of the esoterica stuff that's hard to find. And I picked up a tin of Dorchester. I, I guess that's how you say that. That's how Arkansas rednecks say it. Um, 
it's a Virginia Perique blend. I'm a big fan of vapor, so I, I found an Esoterica vapor and decided to get it. Um, I didn't buy much there, just this tin and one cigar. Um, let me just tell you, it was it was substantially more than the tin of Balkan Blue I bought in DC. I don't know how much of that's their taxes and how much of that's just New York prices, because I'll tell you, nothing's cheap in New York. Um, you, uh, if you've never visited New York City, let me just tell you, you'll drop a grand before you blink. I think we were only there two days. And I think we spent 80 bucks on subway cards. and I mean, it was it's just an expensive city. Um, you go out for, for, for dinner and a beer is eight bucks. And I'm not talking about something fancy. I mean, Bud Light Long Necks was eight bucks. So I didn't, didn't drink much of that while I was there. But, you know, Nat Sherman was awesome. Awesome place. Um, the shop I go to regularly here in Little Rock is just as well stocked as Nat Sherman. But, uh, but Nat Sherman, that place is pure class. I mean, the carved mahogany, the leather, the, I mean, it, it is an amazing place. And I'll tell you, New York City, um, they get a bad reputation about not being nice. We're big on Southern hospitality down here. But I'll tell you, we didn't run into a single rude person. And when I was in Nat Sherman, man, they, they were as nice as they could be. Um, just treated me like, like anybody else. It was, it was great, and the people were great, too. So um, From there, uh, we stayed in New Haven, Connecticut for a while. And there's another place there, uh, the last one I'll tell you about. <clears throat> it's called the Owl Shop. Um, now, used to, it's about 100 years old, if I'm not mistaken. And um, it used to be a cigar shop. Actually, I think it started out as a bookshop, a bookstore, a um, hundred years ago. And then it transitioned into a pipe and tobacco and cigar shop. Well, now it's more of a cigar bar. Um, it's not somewhere you want to go and just shop because, um, I mean, the, the place is hopping. Um, they have live music. They did, well, we were there Tuesday night, and they had a live band, great music. <clears throat> um, we enjoyed ourselves very much. I was there with three other guys. We were hanging out. Had a great time. Um, they don't mind if you bring your own stuff even. A lot of cigar shops you see or cigar bars, you have to buy your stuff there. We took cigars with us. Um, I kept asking the guy that, that I went with, man, are you sure this is cool? They're, they're gonna they're gonna get pissed at us, but they're fine. Of course, between the four of us, we probably had 15 you know, glasses of scotch. It cost 12 or 14 bucks a piece, so they got some money from us. But that's it, guys. Three great places I visited on vacation. Uh, we drove home. Uh, we came through Roanoke, Virginia. And if you've seen my previous videos on the Myline tobaccos that I reviewed, they are located in Roanoke, Virginia. <clears throat> and I wanted to stop by there. I didn't know how it was going to pan out when we first started the trip up there. Come to find out, we drove back through about midnight. So, And we didn't stop even then. We headed on through and stayed the night in Bristol, Tennessee. So... Uh, saw Roanoke just in passing or I would have got by my line tobacconist too But there you go guys um, Georgetown tobacco Nat Sherman in New York. Oh, let me show you this too. I was I forgot about this they, I mean they, these guys were really cool. Like I said things are are pretty pricey there by uh, being in New York But I got a couple of these Packs of matches with their logo on it and I just bought one tin of tobacco They put it in this really nice gift bag for me. Let you see that it says tobacconist to the world, Fifth Avenue, New York. Um, I mean, so they, nice touch, nice touch. Um, but anyway, guys, those three shops, or two shops and a bar, highly recommend them. Had a great time at all of them. Um, happy Fourth of July again. I'll see you next time, guys. Go forth and do good.